You are flying next to a golf ball, sailing through the sky. It's long been known that pocking a golf ball with small dimples lessens the effect of air drag as it travels. But precisely how this happens has never been quantitatively understood. Now, researchers from Arizona State University and the University of Maryland have visualized the airflow with a supercomputer. Moving in to about 45 degrees from the leading surface of the ball, we can see a number of trains of vortices have developed. These lines of whirlpools follow the scallops of the dimples in the direction of the airstream. Closing in now on the air's behavior around just a pair of dimples, we see the airflow evolve from front to back. Watch now within a single dimple as the air detaches and shears away, varying with the stream's direction. We see that the cumulative effect of the vortices pulls air down onto the ball, delaying energy-wasting separation. Golf balls with dimples turn out to be almost twice as slippery as those without. But how many dimples should there be? How deep? What shape? Since there are no rules regulating these factors, sporting goods companies are free to tee up new patterns. But detailed numerical visual analysis, like we see here, will no doubt play a big part in golf ball design from now on.